as of the recording of this video this is actually the morning of the Royal Rumble and yesterday there was breaking news about Ben Smith Mann not only his lawsuit of allegations of sexual misconduct as well as sex trafficking he also resigned from all his positions at TKO I'm not gonna lie as a wrestling fan this definitely changes my overall feeling of the Royal Rumble. I was really hyped about this, really hyped of what was going to happen, and hearing this just kind of sours the mood. Now, the people that were actually called out in this lawsuit, we already know about John Laurinaitis from 2022, but now Brock Lesnar was called out for this, possibly being one of the people that he actually used his office assistant to pass her on to him and that <laughs> puts a definite sour taste in my mouth if it's all true now myself as well as other members of club atlantis has been debating on this for most of the night when we found out the news and the one thing that prince gmo shout out to him and we all agree on this innocent to proven guilty now, even though innocent to proven guilty is something that we all believe, that it should definitely be evidence out there to be proven against him if there is evidence out there for a trial to go down and the things be, um, go, and then the process going through fairly, we all agree that, you know, innocent to proven guilty. But if you go back and you think about some of the stuff he has done, from some of the segments he's had during the Attitude Era, even during the Ruthless Aggression Era, even the interviews that he has had in the past, especially the Bob Costas interview that doesn't really sit very well in this day and age, and some of the interviews he's had prior to that, it looks plausible. And this is just going by my perspective. If this is actually, if this is actually proven true, I wouldn't be surprised because of some of the things he's done in the past. Now, I'm not gonna get on my soapbox saying he's the biggest scum of the earth. There's really nothing, so far what she's saying is circumstantial. I'm just throwing it out there. There's no visible evidence at this point, but there is evidence of a money trail when it came to him abusing company funds to pay off women. That actually was proven. As well as the fact that he used shareholder money for his own personal use. That has also been proven. So the fact that he's done corrupt stuff before, I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually proven true, but I'm not going to necessarily say that it is because we don't have any evidence right now. But it does kind of put a giant spotlight on the company. It makes you wonder what is going to happen with everyone that rolled with him during those days and even currently now. Now, I just watched Good Mike Works um, commentary on the whole thing, his mic drop, and he believes it's a possibility that most of the people that were Vince McMahon people will probably get cut if this gets too bad. Triple H possibly being one of them. Now, I'm not going into the speculation that the internet's putting out there on him. I'm not going into that. I am saying that TKO or mo mostly Endeavor, they lost Slim Jim. They lost multi-millions to the Royal Rumble. This was actually being like the, the Slim Jim was actually sponsoring the Royal Rumble and they pulled out. They're losing money. The fact that Slim Jim pulled out means that other sponsors are going to pull out. And that's not good. That's millions upon millions upon millions, possibly billions of dollars lost. And it's all because of this. Whether it is proven true or not true, they're losing money. That's a problem. So the fact that they asked him to resign was a good move on his end because that shows how much he still cares about the company. If he didn't care about the company at all, he would have done what he did in 2022, came out there and just said, we're going to fight this together. Came out there to the audience and actually was saying, he actually just said the mantra of WWE here, now, together, forever, or whatever it is. Came out there in 2022, on SmackDown, approached the, approached the fans and left. I'm happy it did not happen this time because this is just too bad. If this is all true, it sounds terrible. And I've actually heard people 
when it was some of these channels when they read out all the allegations was just absolutely heinous and this would be in poor taste for him to go out there and do that even though i know he probably would i wouldn't be shocked if he did now like i said i'm not getting on a high horse i'm not saying if this is innocent he's guilty i don't know I just know that he has too much bad evidence, bad press in the past to show that this could be plausible. And it was a good move on his end to step down and step out because they couldn't fire him and they couldn't force him out. Now, the fact that the merger happened means that his shares are prop don't have as much power as it did in the past. So the fact that he was able to leave was probably a good move on his end. Is he going to suffer for this? No, the guy is worth $2.9 billion. He's fine. He's going to be okay at the end of the day. He's going to probably take his gold yacht and sell it uh, around the world. I have absolutely no love lost for Vince McMahon. The man is going to be selling around the world in his golden yacht, just enjoying his life with whatever robotic women he can find. This guy is going to be fine. Absolutely 100% okay. I have no love lost for Vince McMahon being gone. But for anybody that's a part of my generation, it's going to probably hit them to the core. Most hardcore fans that are really big fans of Vince, it's going to hit them to the core. They're going to be really upset about this, but the guy, he's going to be all right. He might not be on TV anymore, but he'll be fine. He will go off riding in the sunset on his yacht. That's it. <laughs> so if he's gone, he's gone. It's just time for things to move forward and move on. And I really feel terrible for the woman that was actually and honestly she wasn't really called out in um in interview she wasn't really called out um in reports until she was actually um her name was dropped on twitter which and i forgot the actual reporter's name and i know about him and the guy i have no respect for him at this point but to be honest with you i really hope that she gets the help she needs because anybody that goes through that trauma I mean, they're going to need a lot of help. She's probably going through a lot of PTSD, a lot of mental anguish, a lot of problems that she's going to need help with. And I hope she gets the help that she needs. And because she's going to really need it here. Probably for people and, I, and, and people, fans who people who call themselves fans, do not hound these people. Do not try to seek her out. Do not try to find where she lives. Do not try to haunt her or call her on social media and just complete uh, call her out or try to find her, her address or her families leave her alone leave her alone she's gone through enough leave her alone the same thing for trips the same thing for anybody in tko the same thing for any wrestlers that speak out against this leave them alone and also for those that go into the rumble please do not use this position to be jerks it is bad enough that wrestling fans do have a bad rep with doing this. Do not make it worse. Do not make it worse. Do not go out there and harass people. Do not go out there and take over the show. Just enjoy the Rumble. You paid enough money to be there. Just enjoy it. And for fans at home, y'all have a choice to turn it off or watch it. Those are your choices. But please do not use this position to get on a moral high horse and try to go after people and try to be that warrior. Just leave it alone. The Royal Rumble already has a very cloud, a very dark cloud over his head after hearing this. I'm still gonna watch it. I'm still gonna try to enjoy it. I'm gonna try to forget all this and just pay attention to the show and judge the show for itself. So for those out there, please don't go after anybody. Just enjoy the show or just shut it off but as for me i'm a traditionalist i absolutely love the royal rumble and i'm looking forward to watching it with the club atlantis crew i'm going to enjoy tonight i'm not going to think about everything that went down and for those that want to watch it watch it just enjoy it for what it is enjoy it for being the royal rumble do not think about all of this outside stuff just enjoy it for what it is and be happy if it makes you happy don't feel ashamed for being happy for watching a good show because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to judge it for what it is. And I'm just going to enjoy myself with the people I care about. So that's what I plan on doing. And if you guys do it, don't feel bad for doing it. Just enjoy yourself. Okay.